First Hurricane Francine making landfall along the Gulf Coast before being downgraded to a tropical storm. But look at these trees, the roof of this building or this business here. Hundreds of thousands of people now without power this morning in Louisiana alone. The storm damaging homes, causing intense and potentially deadly flash floods throughout the region. We've got full team coverage of Tropical Storm Francine this morning, starting with News Nation's Nancy Liu, who is on the ground in Houma, Louisiana. Nancy, good morning to you. How are things looking along the Gulf Coast this morning? Well, Marky, we're seeing a lot of branches and debris everywhere. We're in Homa, which is in Terrebonne Township, a uh, parish, uh, and that is where Francine came ashore uh, late in the afternoon, bringing wind gusts of up to 100 miles an hour, according to the National Weather Service. This is a portion of the roof from the power plant here in Homa, um, perhaps that plays into why the power is out in this region. Uh, the roof came off, it's about a block away from the actual building. Now the power outages, they are widespread throughout the Gulf Coast, nearly 400,000 without electricity in Louisiana alone. Francine, came ashore again late in the afternoon. It was quick to cause a lot of flash flooding, the system dumping torrents of rain on the region for several hours, uh, impacting Louisiana, Miss Mississippi, and Alabama as well. Um, but it then moved out, and now we have the calm and power outages everywhere. And that is probably the significant issue in this region. Um, Marky, we lost our power when the storm hit. We haven't had it. I mean, these are lights, uh, you know, powered by our cars. And I have no idea what I look like uh, <laughs> since we like had nothing. It was really pitch black at our hotel uh, last night, uh, except for flashlights. So I really felt like I was in a movie getting ready with the flashlight. Yeah, well, Nancy, you look fabulous, especially for riding out uh, a hurricane, <laughs> now tropical storm. I was praying that we'd even have your live shot this morning for show, so thank you. It's good to see your face. Thanks for riding out this one for us. Let's now turn things over to meteorologist Max Aparis. He is tracking Francine every step of the way. Max, so much, I mean, look at this video behind you. So much damage, flooding to see this morning. A lot must have happened overnight. Exactly, yeah. This is this high storm surge we were talking about as Francine made landfall. What we're looking at here are waves coming inland from the Gulf of Mexico. These high winds coming directly at the camera as this person took shelter on their shrimp boat. Some of these angles, yeah, there you can see the boat there in the foreground. Uh, you can see the boom at some different angles as well. But all this water rushing inland and really rising quickly as Francine came ashore. And here's why. We have this radar loop showing the last 24 hours, the center of the circulation moving into coastal Louisiana. On the east side, the dirty side of the storm, winds go counterclockwise around storm systems. So we're taking all that water with the wind, pushing it inland, and that's how that storm surge happens right along the coastline. Still tropical storm warnings in place. It'll weaken into a tropical depression later today, moving into the Mid-South. Heavy rain, the big threat. We have a significant risk for flash flooding through North Alabama. Birmingham, Huntsville could get up to 10 inches today as the storm continues to weaken moving north, picking up steam, so quickly moving out, but still dropping a lot of heavy rain today, Marky. Okay, really good to know. We'll check on our people uh, who live in that area. Max, sure. thank you so much. We'll check back in. Uh, and just Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.